different intensities to choose from. Providers can perform finger stick and draw samples of simulated blood. Treat decubitus ulcers and an ulcerated foot. Susie also features a pulse oximetry sensor within the forefinger of each hand. This allows providers to attach commercially available pulse oximetry devices and determine Susie's oxygen saturation. Suzy is the first advanced simulator that will give you the capability of doing breast examinations. She's equipped with interchangeable breasts that can demonstrate chronic mastitis, benign growth, carcinoma and the orange skin effect, giant sarcoma, scarus carcinoma, and movement of the mammary gland on the surface of the pectorial's major muscle. On Susie's lower torso, there are other procedures that can be performed, like colonostomy, ileostomy, and enema. Susie can be catheterized via exchangeable male and female genitalia. Susie is a perfect simulator to practice gynecologic procedures, such as vaginal douching, speculum insertion, pap smear, bimanual pelvic examination, DNC exercises, placement and removal of an IUD, palpation of normal and pregnant uteri, and inspection of normal and abnormal cervix. For additional realism, virtual vital sign monitors are available in both fixed and mobile formats. The simulation experience can be enhanced with the use of a compatible audiovisual system like KB Port, Beeline, and EMS. Suzy's control software is easy to use and intuitive. The tablet PC can be carried like a notebook and the one-handed operation with the stylus adds to the portability of the system. The software framework used for Suzy is utilized throughout the GOMARD family of high fidelity products. This means that once learned, the user can operate any of the simulators from the GOMARD tetherless family. The control panel is arranged in an easy to follow array of tabs. The status panel shows the user the correct vital state being transmitted to the simulator by the controlling software. For visual clarity, the status window is broken up into relevant sections. Additionally, when any parameter is updated, the corresponding value is highlighted in the status viewer. From the status viewer, the volume of heart, lung, throat, and K sounds can be adjusted. The Details tab is the first one presented to the user after starting up the software. From this area, users could change the parameters associated with Suzy's physiologic state. Whether the adjustments be on the fly or to generate pallet items for use in scenarios. Parameters are selected using the drop-down menus, three state switches, and integer boxes on the details page. 
They can be applied to take immediate effect or trended to change over a set time period. Pallet items that have been saved from the Details tab are displayed in the Pallet tab. For visual clarity, pallet items appear in four different colors depending on the desired condition of the patient. Pallet items can be altered at any time by clicking Edit, which takes the user back to the Details tab. They could also be deleted permanently or checked for properties with the simple touch of the stylus. As with the details, the palette items can be applied or saved to the scenario from the Scenario tab. For simulations to be most realistic, it is beneficial to use scenario-based training sessions. For convenience, the software comes preloaded with several scenarios to get you started. With Suzy, there are two types of scenarios that can be programmed. The normal scenario is a collection of pallet items that play sequentially over a set period of time. This is the most straightforward of the two scenario types. The selected pallet items are easily manipulated to adjust the flow and timing of the scenario presentation. The branching scenario is the most advanced method of running the SUSY simulator. This option gives the benefit of the if-then type scenario. The branched scenario provides multiple paths for the scenario to follow. The actions of the care provider generate key events driving the path of the scenario. The instructor can check off the corresponding events on the software, enabling the scenario to follow the correct path. 